This is an extraordinary period for America's economy. We are in the midst of a serious financial crisis. Good morning, guys. Over the past few weeks, I've announced key members of my economic team who are now crafting a 21st century economic recovery plan. But as I said throughout the campaign, what will be just as important to our long-term economic stability is a 21st century regulatory framework to ensure that a crisis like this can never happen again. Today, I'm pleased to announce two individuals who will be leading that effort. Mary Shapiro, as the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission. I have great faith and confidence in the ability of the team I've announced to make this possible. Uh, and with that, I'd like uh, Mary to step up and say a few words. I graduated from Franklin and Marshall College in 1977. I loved my time at FM. I played field hockey and lacrosse and badminton. I was an anthropology major. I took courses across the entire liberal arts spectrum. I got an amazing education. Now I live in Washington, having spent most of my career in public service as a financial markets regulator. Thank you so much, Mr. President-elect. I'm honored and humbled to be considered for this position. Americans are looking to policymakers and regulators to restore stability and trust to our financial markets. There was so much to do that it was really a moment in time when I had to give everything to that position in order for us to be able to do the job that needed to be done and frankly the job that the American people had a right to expect of us. I'm looking forward to leading an agency, the Securities and Exchange Commission, whose mission is so critical to the future economic health of our country. You know, those were heady days. They were terrifying. The stock market is now down 21%. What in the world is happening on Wall Street? Who knows where this is going to it end? It was the worst day on Wall Street since the crash of 1980. But it was very exciting to see tangible, real progress as we rolled out the national legislative response. I truly believe there is no higher calling than public service, and I'm proud to be able to serve investors, my country, and our new president in the days ahead. Thank you. My younger daughter had an obligation to perform a certain amount of community service as a requirement to graduate from high school. So we went over to the Washington Animal Rescue League, but because she was under 18 years old, she had to have a parent accompany her every time she came to the shelter. And so I signed up right along with her, and we had an amazing time. But it was also a wonderful feeling taking care of puppies and kittens. Mary's ascent from her undergraduate years in FNM, where, I remind you again, her major was anthropology, to the heights of the world of finance, conclusively prove the value of a liberal arts education in general and of Franklin and Marshall education in particular. Anthropology helps you to understand what motivates people, how they organize themselves, how they provide for their families, how they create a society and a culture and a structure. And when you think about it, what better background, really, for public service? All of that really comes from an anthropology discipline that I learned at FNM.